Ok. Eh, Puede repetir ahí, vi. Me puedo escaite. Quítame la tip. Ya. Mosa tan yuaki tan sharma o naida hilanda. I can share screen here immediately to there are there has been comments on uh, uh, tempo. Can you see now? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sharing. I'm sharing this screen. Am I not? Yes. Uh, there has been comments upon the tempo and so on. It is high, and um, and someone stopped and said, "I will go to the. I will try to read Davin on my own because it's uh, maybe maybe." Doing this in another way, uh, and I can understand that this this material that we have here. I I was a teacher at Uppsala University, and and we used a similar material, and I've developed this, and uh, so it's in a way it comes from that side, and and. Uh, maybe it's too much grammar for for some people, or it's too much to high tempo. Uh, we will try to, I will try to repeat something today. We will read one of the poems that we read earlier so that you can maybe feel that you recognize it. Um, and I, I also thought that maybe if we continue approximately like we do now, um, maybe we could also because some people want to talk more two and two, uh, like have these converse, conversations to repeat the words so that they, in the end, get stuck in the head. So maybe I could do something like I open up this Zoom room, or for example, on Mondays, the same time. Then I'm not like a teacher, but I just open the room uh, and, uh, some extra time for practicing dialogue and um, and translating text together yes mm. i see here in the chat i'm jumping a little bit between the chat and what i've written here uh, we will we will yeah i will go back and repeat something uh, uh, but also, if you're interested in like having one day extra week, I don't know if you have time, but if, if there is great interest in this, I could open the Zoom room and you can meet. Some of you already have your contacts, your some, someone to, to talk to and so on, and that's great. But some of you maybe not have anyone, and therefore I, we could do that, maybe. Uh, for those who are free on a Monday at the same time as this, for example. Yeah, more practice and less grammar, somebody says. Yeah, I try to, to take some of it in and, and I try to uh, put it a little bit in that direction. Of course, it's, it's how it is in a way, <laughs> but... Uh, but of course, we can also touch it and put put it a little bit in another way. So we don't need to stress that much with the grammar. Maybe it takes time to memorize. Yes, we recall that. Okay. Uh, and also, I thought that if you, I remember, I wrote in a mail early that maybe we shouldn't have the camera on, but. I think you you should choose. If you want to have a camera on, it's absolutely okay. Uh, so we can try to have them on if you want. It's not, I, I think it's nice to see you. So, so I think it's a good idea to keep them on. And then if somebody says that it's 
even more difficult now because there are some 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 problems then we will take it from there but please do whatever you want and talking about pronunciation i um, we Uh, we, somebody says they wanted to repeat a little bit these diphthongs and so on. And actually we have a mother tongue speaker in the class. We had at least last week, I found out. So now I will see if Risten Lango Lakolap Lako Yaudanotna. Maybe you are muted. We should see. Now maybe she has not come yet, but uh, we will see if she can come and help us a little with 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 the right pronunciation. Uh, Lena Antonsen at University of Troms. Uh, I talked to her the other week, and she she also said that if we we find if uh, that you students finds something on their pages that is not working, like if there is something in Norwegian that is not in English, or is the, if there is something that you're uh, lacking there that you would like to have, and something that is not working, then you could take contact with her or with me. Here, here is not her mail address, but she, her name is Lena Antonsen. Is it Lene dot Antonsen at uit dot no? That is her mail address, something like that. But I can check that up if you have something. She would be happy to to be make the site better at oapa dot no. Yes. Does that concern the oapa page? Yeah, that's that's the oapa page. Yeah, there yes. there are some of the sound uh, files that don't work. Okay, perfect. She wants to hear that. So if okay. you if you could write a mail, I can <clears throat> I can put her mail address on the Facebook group or something like that when I because I have it but I don't have it. Where? Where? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I just write it down. I can write it here for myself. Uh, and then we have an attendance check here. I think it worked uh, well last week. I got some 60 or 70 answers. Can we access the 3000 word dictionary, Will? What is that 3000 word dictionary? Post link in the chat. I already posted. Oh, sorry, privately. Uh -huh. uh, I thought I had posted it. Now I posted the link in the chat. So you can now. Yeah, welcome. Like uh, it, There is the, the link. It's a similar thing something there some things to answer and if you follow the class today it should be possible i hope it's not too difficult and then i got a question on receipt for the payment of course you can get a receipt uh, if you want that uh, maybe the easiest way would be to take contact with me about that receipt or should i send to all I got over 100 people who paid. <laughs> yeah, maybe I could, of course, send the receipt to everybody. I can try that. But you who are interested in the receipt, please take contact. It's easier if you take contact, and then I will try to find it. So if you write a mail to me, for example, with that information. Um, so that was that. And then uh, I start sharing another screen. Yeah. 
Uh, what about looking at this small poem here that we looked upon uh, two weeks? No, it's that we did this. Okay, it's, we did this last week, uh, but just to see if we can you know, understand grammar-wise this uh, poem and uh, read it again. I will see if Risten is here now. Risten Lakolas. Hilahvarna. Okay. Päivi, uh, päivi. Uh, anybody new who wants to read this and get comments upon the how, uh, how to say these words? Anybody who is interested in trying? Just jump off, we'll see what's in the chat. I can translate, Vegard. Yeah, can you also read, would be? Yes, uh, should I read first or should I translate first? Yeah, read read the, read the it first. Okay, I will give it a try. Bjaivi, bjaivi, liekas ollegun, patsan meartsis, Oran Moriid. Very good, thank you. Which means uh, day, day, or sun, sun. Uh, hot outside, I walk in the forest, I eat berries. Exactly, I walk in the forest, it's a, it's a singular here. Uh, uh, so, w what can we say about the, the forms? Here we have some um, nouns or, or substantives. Uh, do do you know what what grammatic form it is? Do Looks you think? like it's in the nominative. Yeah, it's and in the. It's uh, not clear thing. whether it's bestämt or ubestämt. Exactly. Uh, what is that in English? Bestämt and ubestämt uh, mean um, the the house contra a house. How do you say that in English? That definite article. Definite, definite article. Definite definite Thank you. Uh, Vegard here said that he don't he doesn't know if it's uh, definite or indefinite, and that is the case in Sami that we don't have the definite article. So this words could mean this word could mean the sun the sun or a sun a sun or the day the day a day or a day a day uh, so it's not there there is no such sign and when you translate these texts you have to follow what you think or what you feel it becomes nice in another language uh, and then what about liekas olokun this is an adjective and um, it's difficult to we, we it's a it's a, a odd syllable adjective as liekasa as it ends in a in a uh, consonant but we haven't worked with this yet so so therefore but it is a adjective in nominative form and olakon is uh, an adverb meaning outside. And what about this vatsan, vatsan metsis? Uh, can you also help us with the grammar here, Begard? Uh, yes, uh, this is the singular form. Um, are you talking about vatsan or metsis? Oh, uh, vatsan. Oh, it's the, yeah. um, it is uh, singular. singular first person. Yeah. And the uh, metsis is the locative case of uh, metsi. So, so what would metsi mean? Yeah. Uh, that would be forest. Yeah. And metsis in the forest. Yeah. And vatsan is then, uh, is it first, second, or third person? Uh, first person singular. Yeah, it's about me. You know, this first person, 
we talk about three persons first person is i you can if you want to try to learn and remember why we say first person then maybe first person is the the first thing thing you you think about uh, and then the second is the you you have this i and you and then the third person is the third alternative the another one um, and and what about boran murid what do you think can you also help with the grammar here boran for example yes boran is um uh, singular first person uh, yeah. while uh, morid is accusative case of uh, mori perfect and and why is it and also accusative is it singular or plural um oh it's uh, it's the plural yeah so i i so how do you translate that then to english i eat berries yeah exactly and you can see that it's plural because it has id on the end yeah good uh, uh, and why is it accusative why why don't why does it don't we use here for example nominative plural uh, you need to put it in the accusative because um, uh, you eat and then it's an object uh, yeah. a substantive is always supposed to be in the accusative when it's the direct object of an action yeah so so there is somebody who is eating those it's not the berries that are eating somebody but it's the other way around you you i i am eating the berries yeah perfect thank you very much very Ito. good yes what, what did you say Ito. Ito, Ito. Ito also. thank you yourself So could we, what do you think if we just jump into the, that worked very well. Uh, I hope also you others felt that you understood some of this and that it wasn't that strange to you today as it may might have been last week. Uh, I hope it felt a little bit easier now. And if it didn't, if it still is very difficult, then, then uh, maybe, you can try to look at this video again or try to sit with these things and maybe Google like first person, what is it, second person, these grammar terms, they are explained, for example, on Wikipedia, I guess, and so on. So it, it should be possible to find these explanations. Uh, what about uh, starting on the fourth? Uh, lesson nyaliat boddu with the semantic field kaffe ja teadja meaning coffee and tea kaffe ja teadja um yeah here here we have a dialogue called chattas on the chat do you say on the chat or at the chat i'm not sure uh, chat does at least this chat word chat is uh, put into locative in the chat that the idea with this word is that maybe this dialogue could have been on messenger chat or so that was the idea and then we need Maybe we could get two people here, one who is Inga and one who is Jovna. In conversation, which I guess is a big, bit more formal. Yeah, in, in conversation. Yeah, you could say that also instead of on the chat. That's great. Uh, uh, do we have anybody who wants to try or should I just open? the microphone for somebody. Lasse, I see you. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And do we have anybody who wants to, anybody else also? Or is I'm it Inga? Okay, you're Inga. Mm. 
<laughs> hands up feature uh, somebody here suggests i haven't seen those hands up feature actually on this uh, they can access it from the participant. I can do it. Victor Johansson. Okay, so then we have Lasse and Victor here. And Lasse is uh, Inga. Inga and Victor is Jona. Purepeivi Lasse Alkus. Purepeivi. Mohmanna Tuina. Muina Manape. Pur. Pur. Pures, muina mana pures. Pur, mana pures. Yeah. De he or tuina. Yeah, la mana pures me. Tala le amas ollo otna. It has been a lot today. Ah. Busy day, stress on my workplace, but it's okay. Ah. And what about Victor? Mo tuina mana. Uh, muna mana pures. Well. Koston lätal. Sorry, I. Koston lät. Koston lät dal. Where you? Where where I am? Yes. Norkas vai? Rotas. Rotas. Okay. Stockholmas. Okay, Stockholmas. Ja man län Oslos. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now I can let you read this to each other. Maybe you in the start just read it in the Sami and then... Or should we translate every line, line by line, maybe? Maybe you read okay. the, the line yeah. and then yeah. you translate it into English and then... Troy said, read first. What you said? Troy writes, read oh, first. Okay, and then okay, translate. okay. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we do that then. Where a baby? It melatti. Maiton parkat. Innu ollu. Jokatan teia das oktu. Leko ruoftus. Len. Ruoftus. Tietuske. Kostonlet. Ruoftus. Mun mait. Rovtos tietuske ton maid. Has mun finadan ties. Ortnegis. Mun leandas. Ja tusle kafe mun je. Musle kafe dutnje. Mun finadan ties. Ja te manan fas roktot. Muhto mun buadan kafe kus kusai. Ota pere, mun leandas roftos. Right. Buere, keito. Hello. Yes. That's Buere Baby. Good day. Am I supposed to translate? Yeah, it's good. You said Buere Baby and then you said the translation. That's okay. And then I say Ip Melat. I can read it uh, just and then uh, Victor if you can uh, translate this uh, I'm, I'm not sure how to translate this but God gives something like that yeah or I, I think we should just translate it to uh, good day to you good day to you and then my question is Maiton uh, Barkat is that what are you working with or what are you doing? Uh, it's what are you doing? My okay. Tom Parkat. Uh, my Tom Parkat. My, my Tom Parkat. If it would have been my Tom Parkat, oh. with what? If you would have you, ah. you used a, a community, committative, com, com, committative here yeah. in, the, in the start, then it would be more, because this Bark, Barakat. It can mean to work, but it can also mean to do. Uh, so here I would say, what are you, what are you doing? My tombarkat. My tombarkat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Innu ollu jugadan teja das oktu. Ja, yeah, so in um, not or I'm I'm not doing much. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And what what about this nu? Do you have have you seen that? I can make it smaller. Uh, yeah, I I was thinking of that like like in Swedish or Norwegian it would be something like so. Exactly, yes. it is. So mm. not so much. Exactly. Perhaps mm. in English. Mm. Yeah. Not so much. What are you doing? Not so much. You got on there, ya das octo. Um. So I I think that would be something like I'm sitting here alone, drinking tea. Exactly. Are you at home? Let go of Yeah. Are you at home? Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Let. Uh, yes. Yeah. Roftus. Roftus dia Rolf yeah, so uh, Rolfus would be at, at home, and yeah. Diadus. It's one of those things that seems to be hard to translate, but something like, of course, is your suggestion there. Yeah, uh, I would say that. Yeah, Rolfus Diaduske. Kostonlet, where are you? Kostonlet. I'm also at home. I'm also at home. Roftus Mommite, I'm also at home, yes. And now yeah. it's a little bit a kind of corona uh, <laughs> thing, yes. <Yeah. laughs> Roftus Tiedus get on might. Yes, of course, you are also at home. Yeah. Ha uh, small fina than this. If you can scroll a little bit down, has that is supposed. Okay. What if, what, what if I. Uh, come and see you, or something like that. Stick. Yeah, um, yeah, good. Yeah. Has uh, mom fina dan dies, and here somebody. If I stop by at your place or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and here are some things we could could look at. Shall one I come over here. The one is that here we have a question that is not using a ko and it's n neither using a uh what were they called question work word question word yeah a, a, a interrogative pronoun interrogative, yeah. uh, so here is an example of of course you can also say a sentence in a way uh, that uh, it is like a question, even though it's formally not. But now I put a question mark, so so it's like a question. It works like a question. So this is an example of such a thing. And I also want to comment upon this DS. Thus, we have, did we have thus? We, we had that, that, the, the, the pronoun that, meaning it. And it, that becomes thus in in locative singular, has uh, fina than thus it would mean uh, maybe I could go come there, but here we have ds and this e a we had it somewhere diep or something. What was the word we had? It's this e a and meaning at your place. Mm. Uh, yeah, it has a relation. Okay, and then you own again ortneg is monlandas. That's in order or yeah, great. okay. Mm -hmm. I am here. Yes, I am here. And th this is das. It's the same word as uh, dias, but it's, in a, it's another version. Like dias, it's at your place, and das is at my place. Yeah. And have you got coffee for me? Yes. And you, and you have coffee for me haven't you or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> very important yeah yeah those like half yeah those like half mm. most like half do yeah i have coffee for you yeah great more fina than this yeah the man of us rock to move to mumpa and coffee course mamma mia um 
Well, I'll um, Wait, stop. I, I can't uh, stop. Do like this. Oh, I can't read it now. No, I have to scro scroll up and down, I think, so that yeah. you can see. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll uh, come and visit. Yeah, okay. Monfina uh, dan Diaz, I come there. There and uh, your place. So man and uh, I, I didn't quite understand that sentence and so and first and yes, yes and and then and so man and then I go I go, I go I go home first or something. I like go that. home again. And first. then I go home again. Okay. Yeah, again. Yeah, the man of Fasrochtos. Okay. But I Yeah, it's there. Yeah. Okay. And I go home again. But uh I'll come as a coffee guest or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but I come I'll, for a cup of coffee. Yeah, I come for but a cup of coffee. How did you translate that? Um, mm, to, to come for coffee. coffee. Yeah. yeah come. As I saw somebody ask this, is this as a... A locative, no. yeah. It's a good question. It is a lo locative. Uh, mm, I think it is illative. Oh, sorry, sorry, illative. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Yeah, sorry for that. Uh, uh, it's illative, cafe uh, and it has a relation to this uh, to come. Uh, when you're coming somewhere, it's natural to use illative. I'm coming to to a place. Uh, so Mumbai and cafe in a way, it it would also be possible to use like "essive" uh, here. I come as a coffee guest. Mumpuadan cafe kwasin. That is also absolutely possible. Uh, but uh, but here it's mumpuadan cafe kwasin. It's suggested like this, or it's written like this. And then puade bere mon landas rovtus. Just come. Uh, I am at home. Yes, okay. I am at here at home. Here at home. Yeah, yeah. here at home. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Good. Give did me you, five minutes. Do you have any? Did you have any question here? Um, it's. Uh, I have okay, a question okay. about about this. Uh, uh, dot. It's. Is that a uh, an Adverb version of uh, rovto, rovto, yeah. and and uh, uh, what? Uh, how do you change the word to make an adverb? Uh, there are different ways of making adverbs. Uh, sometimes there are well, yeah, there are different ways, and th there are. There are probably some rules, uh, but um, and they, they, sometimes they they are like I think they are o old versions of uh, of cases for substantives and so on, like Davas to go north. I I don't have a good question on that, so I shouldn't answer. It's not. There is not a easy way to say that always that you always could do like this to make it an adverb for example puerre we have puerre ya pu and pures mm. uh, puerre is the adjective and pures is the the adverb meaning approximately the same and here we have roktu meaning uh, home and roktot meaning go home i mean in the direction home uh, yeah, so it's an adverb, it's correct, so far at least. But rovtus is not an adverb, he, it, uh, it works as an ad adverb of course, but, but it is a locative form of the substantive, locative form of the noun, rokto and rovtus, it follows the system, but this rokto, it, it's it doesn't follow the system because it. We could have written ruktoy. This would be the the like illative form of momana was ruktoy, but uh, no, people don't say that. 
Yeah. Okay. Here we see on the chat, it seems like the word home has grammatical exceptions in many languages. For example, go home instead of go to home in Finnish, kotona instead of kodissa. And now rock dot. Yeah, it might be so. Some some of these ordinary words are are like. And also in Romanian, there is something similar. Oh, that, that was not to the home. Matthias Bongblad says, I think it's usually to add a T to make it adverb. That could be the case. I, I have to think about that before saying it, but it, it could be one way of making adverbs. Um, according to Mikael Svonni, perfect. Yeah. So, Today we should try to talk a little bit about the grade alternation of the center consonant. Uh, and here is a grammatical text about this. It's a ch ch challenging thing. We have seen it a little bit. Uh, for example, here we have a N, 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 N relation manat you go manat to go manno we to go let's go uh, there are three quantities of this n sound the extra long the long and the short uh, and even though there are three ends here, we write it just with two ends. So therefore it sometimes is difficult to see the difference between this sound and this sound. And many times it's not a problem if you just say two ends. I mean, people understand you of course, so it's not a big thing, but in the, there are three grades in, in the mother tongue speakers version. But normally the words jump between two grades. For example, mora and mora. If you say after me here, mora, meaning a tree or the tree, and then mora, for example, in genitive, mora, the, the trees. Does it always... Uh, go between two neighboring um, qualities. Yeah, it in, cannot in, jump. I, well, uh, or can you jump from grade one to grade three? In, yeah, you can. In, oh, you can. Yeah, you can. Actually, uh, actually, in the so-called contractive uh, substantives. You have like like <laughs> bo boatsu is an they are there are they are not so many but there are some common words that do that uh, for example boatsu meaning reindeer if I write it here boatsu it becomes bohtsu uh, and the 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 system is ti uh, Hetze and hetze, uh, so these are the three. Uh, and boatsu, meaning reindeer, jumps to bohtso. I see a bohtso. I see a reindeer, or bohtsot in plural. Boatsu means one reindeer, and bohtsot means many reindeer. So here's an example when it jumps between uh, the. So so it can, can but. Today we will talk about when it jumps one one um, grade. Um, and the the problem is that it's sometimes these are represented in different ways. Sometimes the 
HKK and HK, you can see this, they are similar to each other, but then the, the weakest grade is like another consonant. And that's of course difficult to know, but it's always this. You, you cannot, if, if you wanna go from this to a weaker grade, you always end up with this one. So there are not many different ways to do it, but still it's, it can be, and there are like hundred of, of such consonant uh, uh, groupings that that have a consonant change and I have a list here of, of uh, maybe 40 such uh, consonants that have different grades like there come becoming there there and then the third what third this is actually three these but as I mentioned but it's we just write to the these, and these are the sim is done in a similar way. All these consonants, but then we have another group of um, consonants that are represented in a little other way. So we start with a c c c in the weakest gray and h c in the h c c in the middle grade and h c c in the strongest grade and we also have b becoming hp and hpp and then we have a third version that comes from from for example bb in the strongest grade to pp and g g becoming kk for example oabba here it says oabba sister Oappa becoming Oappa with two P's, my sisters, or I see my sister, Oappa, Munoenan Yechan Oappa with PP. And then there is a group, and these, these are most of these are just in two grades, so they don't, they don't have anything here, but this one has a weaker version even. And these uh, in this group, they they don't have; they just have two grades: swarapma, swarapma, swarapmat, swarapma, and swarapmat. And here also, bm becoming pm and becoming m. So this is something that that we have to start looking at now, and. Uh, Now you don't need to. Uh, here comes a question: Do do you do you do you do we need to learn it absolutely now? No, no. I mean, you can look at these lists, but you will need these lists from now when you want to try to um, conjugate these words and so on. So, so you need to have like a a passive understanding of it and know how to check it up and it comes here a question if if i can explain these things better of course i can try uh, if if we focus on the we have already seen i i can go i can start in this we have already seen in last cl class i go up here to to third lesson, uh, we we have already seen that there are such differences in sound are used in Sami language. For example, the word yoka, river. When you say rivers, many rivers, you say yogat, yoat, or yogat. You don't say yokat. You don't just put a T on the end of this nominative singular word. Like in English, you just put something on the end. You say river, and then you say rivers. Uh, you just put an extra S on the end. But in Sami, you put an extra T on the end, but you also do something extra with it. You, you change the consonant there to a weaker grade. Uh, so we use this to to make people understand what we're talking about, or or so. I mean, 
it's part of the language. So there is the meaning, the, the, the how we change meaning of, of a word. We use some things on the end of the word, but we also do something in the middle of the word. So that is that. But then the question also from Michel here uh, was, how does it work? And and or or something similar like that. And then I want to show here a kind of. A, here I, I have tried to to write uh, to, or to illustrate the uh, uh, what in the word takes a lot of space to to try to understand what it how how it how it affects the way we say the word logan. Uh, uh, here there is more space for the when the word I read, logan, when it is, lochkat is the, the, the verb. And then when you put it into first person, singular, I, I read, then it goes down to weaker grade, logan. And then the center consonant is not so centered, but in lochkat, if we put lochkat here to uh, then they, they they are more the same all of these sounds lochkat uh, logan then the the g is shorter and here when we have lochki the the third lochki the one who is reading then 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 there is even more focus here in the middle it would i see here uh, who what you're writing in the chat it would probably be easier to memorize one or two words from each consonant pairing rather than actually memorizing the whole card yeah you don't need to to do the whole card, but I, I just need to get you to understand that if you find a word with a G, sometimes you cannot look in the dictionary for L O G. You have to understand it could be L O H K in the dictionary to find out from where this word comes. This can be a weak grade of this consonant. Uh, so, because if you look at Logan in the dictionary, you don't find it, unfortunately. You just, you have to, you have to understand it comes from Lohkat. Uh, because Lohkat is in the dictionary and it means to read. So we need to get some understanding of this, but you can use these lists. This is not a, full list uh, there are full lists in some grammar books like nickel's grammar book i don't think it was a full list in this uh, lisa rita lisa and lily mm. north sami dictionary but uh, i can i can find you a copy of the full list but then when you when you find a word you you want to try to understand then then you can go to the list okay we here, here we have a gear where can we have the gear here is the gear oh so it could be a hk in the infinite form of this word and there and then you go looking for loka and, and and then you understand Okay, lochkan. That if it's that if if it's the weak grade, then it's uh, uh, then it could be a, a verb uh, meaning looking like that, and and then you can find it uh, uh, meaning to read. So this is. Um, And there are 
the the these are the, the like five ways to this here it's five different colors in this list but we we used to talk about them as the x series here is the x series that is the the series with the consonants that have the same consonant just doubling it or, or making three of it and then we talk about the x z series when they have two different like they they have two different um consonant like it says age and chair and it it's represented a little bit in another way uh, in the text than these or it, it works like the, the gear is not here is no gear but here in the but, but oh, in the top group it's the same letter in all the grades but here it can change a little bit from gear to k it's the same place in the mouth but still it's another letter so and then on the end we talk about the the yz yz series and that is the when it starts with a vowel like in Bila. Here are uh, no. Here, here is the e l or v is also kind of a vowel. Uh, yaurit. So it then it's in the strong grade. It's just two letters, and in the weaker grade, it's three letters. Um, and this can be confusing because if you look at, at these ones, they are in the stronger grade, more letters than in the weaker grade. So therefore it's a little bit difficult. Um, and, and also I should mention here the glide, we also talked about and somebody called it a schwa. Uh, a glide or a semi-vowel that we don't write in the text gedeki between between it comes after the the after the l and after the r in the third grade so here if you could say after me gedeki gedeki means stone it has a small vowel sound between the the and the ge gedeki and also between the l and the v dwalavut dwalavut it can have this or it has this extra and bareki bareki worker bareki it's an extra vowel here but then when you put it into plural it disappears so barkit when you put this into weak stadium barkit then there, you cannot have used the glide it's bareki here and barkit 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 and gedki gedki and get git. sorry yeah this is very difficult in the start it is but uh, oh i now i see you have mm, how about barakui yeah then we have the barakui baraku barakui it's also Barakui, then it's also the strong grade, just the one R and one G, then it's the strong grade, Barakui, to, to the work, or Baraku, then work, then it's with the strong grade, Baraku, it should have a small schwa here. Can you pronounce the Sami word for watery? Chahtsai, Chahtsai, Chahtsai. 
The full list of gradation is in Khan and Vali Yarvi's grammar on pages 20 to 26. Yeah, maybe there was a full full list then. I thought there was something lacking there, but it could be that they have the full list, okay. If you get a form of the wrong word, would someone who speaks Sami still understand what you mean? Yeah, it depends on how wrong you do it, of course. Uh, when I use online dictionary, there are almost only one form of a word you can find, and then you need to know how to change it. But it's very hard now. I, I hope it gets easier, yeah. We learners are like small children. When they try some new words, they might use the wrong grades and still get understood. Yeah, it's not a problem to use the wrong grade. I also do it. We, I mean, uh, we just try to say, you remember these words, you remember that Logan is with a gear, I read. And then you you say it like that, but sometimes when you jump between it, you do it the wrong way. And there are also different dictionaries. Uh, some dictionaries tell us more about how to conjugate the verbs. Examples are good. Um, yeah, the full list of gradations are in nickel pages twenty seven to thirty. Yeah, there is the full 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 list of them. Uh, and we but, but we should also try here to uh, some of you might th th there are some dictionaries, for example, this Mikael Svonnis, Davi uh, Sami North Sami to Swedish. Uh, that has uh, written down in the dictionary the weak form. So here you can see uh, uh, that it's the hopmat and it's human. So so this is easy. Then then you see what is the weak grade of the center consonant and mannat and Manan, uh, Karta and Karta with R RTT and Penna with Penna. This means that Penna is strong grade three, although written with just two graphemes and pronounced Penna, and that Penna is the weak grade. So it's Penna and Penna. And texta and tevstat. Uh, so of course it's easy with this, but but the, for example, the, to English we don't really have any dictionary, so this is also difficult. Or what about these online dictionaries? Are those do they they don't give these things, or do they give like patterns? Sanit wahta no. Gives yeah. all the forms. Okay, that you can was... write any form of the of the verb or or noun, and uh, you click on the result, and you get the whole conjugations. Okay, so we try that. I should share my. I should share my. As the I... one who just wrote on the. Yeah, yeah. Now. yeah. I I saw that. I will I will try to. But it's, of course, it's not in English. Aha. Uh -huh. But we we try it anyway, just to see how it works. Do you now? Can you now see the? My... It's a little far away. <laughs> okay, okay. How do I do it bigger? Zoom plus. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this was the sanitohpa.no, and if I write here uh, a word in Sami, like. Uh, uh, Mannat. We we had this manna or ma manna child. Did we have that last week somewhere? Manna. So we, we write this word and then we click on it. 
maybe I have to click the OTSA meaning search also. And then we see it here. Uh, and manna. Either the manna substantive or manna verb to get the forms. Yeah. The, okay, the, I, I choose the manna substantive here. And, and then you then, get. Okay, and then you get all the forms. So you see that mana. Okay, perfect. And en, this means singular. En tal in Norwegian, and this is flare tal, that meaning many, a plural. And then you oh. can see that mana is just one m. I don't know what uh, the English flag does there because there's no translation to English apparently. <laughs> okay, so you cannot choose the, the English site here. You can choose it, but you don't get a translation to English. Okay, okay. At least we, I don't find it. Yeah, exactly. We should write that to Lene also. Uh, because uh, uh, she said she wanted to get comments on what is not. She said that they had had this English translator, but then uh, there was something happening and then they didn't finish the project and therefore uh, they want comments on what wasn't finished and, and therefore she wanted. Yeah, so uh, now at least we looked a little bit on it. I should stop sharing that one and maybe uh, start sharing this one again uh, when <coughs> when we have in the in the dictionary these possibilities for example in uh, i i can i can go for it This is the, the Svonni dictionary, and here, as you all already see here in the in in my textbook, you can you can see that Salla, for example, has an extra L thereafter, meaning that the weak grade is one L, and and so on. But but in another dictionary, this. Pekka Samalahti and Klaus Peter Nickel to German, they are writing it in another way. So they just write it if it's going away from the normal system because e, they know that PM always becomes M. All right. So they don't, they, they think it's not necessary to read it, to write it. So they, they just, they just write Hopmat like this. I don't know if you can see it, but now a little closer. Yeah. They they don't have the letter afterwards. Hmm. So, oh, so that's the German. Because just when when it goes away from the system, because sometimes you cannot know. Uh, for example, in this penna case. You you need to know because n n could all could be number three or it could be number two, and and therefore you need to mark penna, and then they have they have written. Now penna was maybe not a good example because it has so many versions. Here they have showed that that they have showed with an extra apostrophe up there that, it, that it's the third grade, yeah. So, but if you use the online that, that was shown here, here, then of course it's easy. I see that people are writing on the chat, but I don't, I cannot see the chat for the moment. Where do we have the chats? If I stop sharing, Ville, can you share the name author of the German Sami dictionary you have here? Yeah, it's the best one. So this 
It's, it's called... Duff, Duffy Publisher. Is this like mirrored now? I should write it. <laughs> I should write it, everyone. I write it here. Pekka, Samalahti, and Klaus Peter Nickel. Uh, Sami Duiska Satnikiri. And it's also one on the on the other side, as, as thick as this, thirty-five thousand words, I think, from German to Sami to North Sami also. I have it here. And so these are very nice. These are like the the best dictionaries. Uh, even better than Norwegian Sami and Swedish Sami. I don't know. I would say more words in this one. Uh, Break, break, yeah, we take a break. Can we take a break now at eight minutes to quarter past? See you. Okay, do you hear me? No, you don't hear me. I'm mute. No, I'm not muted. Okay, you hear me. Uh, hello, us. Uh, and now I was going to share screen again and go to this uh, and uh, so can you show us the Swedish dictionary again sure uh, and do you have the ISBN number yeah I wrote it there in the chat oh I, I see it. didn't see it sorry Sorry. Yeah, no problem. Uh, when it when you have such a dictionary, you don't need to be uh, unsure. Then it's very clear, and it's uh, in dic in in Svonis dictionary. When there is no such mark, then then there is no grade alternation like in kirko this own loan this old loan word church uh, here you don't have a uh, kirko it doesn't become R rkk in the weaker grade it just have it just has have it has one grade only uh, because it's a loan word and and so on uh, but in for example, this other German dictionary, then they mark this because this is the thing that doesn't follow the standard system. So you need to find how your dictionary wrote this. But here we, we I have written for this exercise here, I've written like Svoni did, that I've written the, the weak grade after the word. So here you can know that manna, becomes what would this be in plural the question here is right nominative can you see it or should i make it more right nominative forms in plural for the following even syllable nouns what you do here is that you what do you do when you want to put a word into plural anybody who know this by heart or and ha dare to to say it out loud, what you think you'd, you do. If you have the word for child and you want to say children. Manat. Manat. So what did you do there? Uh, <coughs> you, 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 you put, you, you have this word and then you put a T on the end, didn't mm -hmm. you? Yeah. And, ah. what, and what do you do as well as that? You do uh, some take away another in. Yeah. So you, okay. you 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 use the weaker grade here. So what would you do then if you have the word spabba meaning ball? If you want to say balls, how would you do that? Now we see in the chat somebody wrote. Spabba. Ballo, somebody wrote. Has pop, but yeah. So, so what do you do? You put put the T on the end. 
and you also put it the week grade here and you see the week grade it's written here pp so it's pop but and what about yaori so can i can i can I put you into groups and you do this spot but perfect here, Iselin, right? Or Karan also. Mm -hmm. uh, is that grade two or three? No, in uh, even though it exists three grades of a word, normally, or sorry, if it exists three grades of a consonant, normally the words just jump between two. Uh, grades either the strong grade is the grade number two and the weak grade is grade number one or the the strong grade is weak number three and the weak grade is grade number two so so here you can be sure you don't need to care if it's grade three or grade two because you see the word in the nominative form and you see the the weaker form and it doesn't give because in the when you do these substantives um, uh, when you when you put these substantives into different cases you only use two grades as we did last week we did there was just two i i run up here to the to for example uh, Giella. Uh, we have this ll in three different places we have it in the nominative in the nominative singular illative singular and the s -sip. the rest has this one uh, the, this weaker grade so it, it is just two versions of in in the, this pa paradigm or in this um, system so here you can know so I, I thought maybe i can put you into groups two and two and you try to 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 write these downs how to say mountains how to say fish in english that, that you don't have the extra fishes there on or houses how do you say houses uh, so if you accept that i just put you into groups i stop sharing do you have this i think you have it don't you I, yeah. can also, I can also put it in the chat if you don't have it but i put you into groups breakout rooms just for seven minutes or so eight minutes uh, so if we are how many are we 66 now it means 33 groups So are you now all back? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Welcome back. Boris Boatin fas teike Baldo Latni. Welcome back to the main room again. Was it difficult or was it easy? When you get uh, the the first part was easy, but the second one was very difficult. Oh, you you continued with this one on page thirty-three. Uh, yes, we did. Yeah, I guess that one is difficult, but it's good to hear that that the first we can take some examples here. If you, for example, want to, if some if somebody could say what quality, do you always add an t to the end? Yes, you do. In in plural, yes, t. In in the nominative. Uh, Plural. So if we have koli meaning fish, how do we make it uh, fish in plural? Many fish. <laughs> Can somebody say it out loud? Call it, yeah. Somebody. Yeah, call it. Yeah. And and if we were if we if we have this achi, how do we say that? Achi. Achi. Exactly. Achi. The A ah is a little bit long, longer, and the the H G is is. Uh, and what about Edni? Ed, Edni. 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 Yeah. Good. Edni. 
it. How do you know the A is longer in Achi? Not well. Here comes a question: Achi and Achit. Well, you can hear that it is a little bit. You're not stressing when you Achi when you have the 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 strongest uh, the third grade there Achi. Then you like goes quickly into the consonant and you are there. You have a lot of energy in the consonant. Achi, achi. Uh, but if you say achi, my fathers or achit, father, fathers in plural in nominative, then, then the, the vowel is a little bit longer. And here antni, antni or antni, that it etni, etnit, et. It. A little bit longer the the vowel first, and then. Pille. No. Yes. In mother, I hear an n sound. N. Yeah. Exactly. That's but... something I've learned now in the last uh, uh, months or <laughs> last year that I have always said adni with as it is written adni. But I, with a DN just sound, but then somebody said that actually people here in Kautokeina, they, they put an N before the D also. And me, and me. And then but only, only in singular. Or... Yeah, only in the strong grade. So also in oh, the uh... illative and, and my, and my. Uh... It's not so clear, but it is still. And then in the ethnic, uh, they, they ethnic. It, the the at they they don't have this n before so they they make it even more clear that there is almost an n there and me but i i don't know if it's just here but but that's the way i heard it so but i don't think you sh you need to care so much about it if you read if you say it that the way it's written approximately then then you, people understand you and what about oh but sisters Sorry, wapa in plural. Wapa, perfect. Wapa. Okay, so this was easy. You just follow the system. But then we come here. How can we do this? Elka, meaning elk or moose. How can we know how to to two G's and a T at the end? Two G's and a T yeah. at the end. Yeah, that's correct. Alka, alkat. So LG always becomes LGG. If we go up here, did we have LG somewhere or didn't we? Maybe we didn't. It wasn't. It wasn't any of these. Maybe this one wasn't in the example list, unfortunately. But it's working like this L V L V V L G in the grade number three and L G G in the grade number two. So if you would have the full list like uh, in uh, Nickel and Swanis grammar, here is the list. Here we have L, LG becoming LGG. I don't know if you can see it now. It's difficult to show it. Yeah. Which grammar is that? This is the Samis Grammatik. Klaus oh, Pernik. yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. I got that one. The old version, but you probably have, have the new one. I have them both. One G <laughs> doesn't sound right. Add schwa. So what was the rule about schwa's here? Uh, we said that after the consonant L, Elka, Elka, we said that after L, there is normally, the, sometimes, sometimes a, 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 a schwa, a glide, but if the consonant are articulated in the same place in the mouth, there is no slide like valedit, 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 valedit. Then we don't have the schwa. But here we had lg, lg, val. What word was it? Elka, 
Elka, Elka, Elka. I think there is a, a, a schwa here. I think it's supposed to be Elka, Elka, and then Elkat, Elkat, Elkat without the, the schwa there. And, and then we have Kovlu. What about this one then? Do we have any suggestions? Anybody who wants to say? Um, Govlut? Yes. It's just a guess. Yeah, so how many V and L you have? Uh, I guess one V and two Ls. Great. Okay, it was just a guess. Yeah, very good, it's correct guess, yeah. Uh, and what about Gilli, meaning village? How do we say that in plural? Just one Gilid. L, Gilid. Perfect. <laughs> and what about Gjella? Gjellat. Gjellat. One L. Yeah. And what about Manno? Moons. If you want to say moons. Manut. One L. Manut. There are moons outside. Manut. <laughs> what about Bila? Bila. 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 Yeah, how do you write that? It sounds good. B I I L L A T. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is the way to do it. Uh, yeah. It f follows most of these follows the system that uh, you double the later of the two consonants, um, and when it's the same consonant, you you take away the one, the one of them when you take it to a weaker grade. But then we also have these that are in a little bit other way. This one we can take the last one because it's a little bit difficult. How would you do that? Rahk is vuhta. And also here we have a long word. It's not just two. All of these other words have just two uh, syllables. Kovlu. It's just two of them. Two. Rahk is vuhta. Exactly. Yeah, we got the right answer here. But I will also explain. Uh, so we have four, uh, four uh, syllables. Rah is vuhta and it's between the third and the fourth in these words it's the 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 consonant gradation is in the last part of the word so when it's just two syllables then it's of course easy to see but here rahkis is the same oh sorry rahkis and then the ht goes down to the Rahk is vodat. But is that a word you, you use in the plural? Rahk is vodat, or maybe not. Oh, and the same with uh, silpa and golli. Yeah, silpa you can use in, in plural. For example, silpat. It can mean like silver jewelry. Uh, do you, what kind of silver jewelry will you use tomorrow? Makka silpa, tuslat. Uh, you could you could think about that. This rock is what that was maybe a bad example because, <laughs> but yeah, in plural nominative that's kind of strange. But uh, it was just a uh, uh, yeah. So so here also if we continue, maybe I put you into groups again, and uh, you work with this uh, last piece here. And there is also a speech exercise. You try to write something about where you write. Kinds of love, yeah, of course. You can say it in plural, rahk is vodat. Rahk is vodat. Yeah, it's a philosophical question. Rahk is vodat. Makkalana rahk is vodat. I think it's more common with a singular form, but but it's possible to, to put it in that way anyhow. Uh, but if you hear, here now we, we worked with the nominative uh, plural form, uh, but now in this maiton yugat, what are you drinking? Then we want the accusative form, 
and sometimes the nominative form. When you have a le verb, then you use it da le kaffe. Here we say here is some coffee. Then there is no object. I mean, this is the here is some coffee. Then you don't I drink coffee. I drink coffee. Then we have a accusative situation. So what sh should it be here in the first one? Mon yogan. Kaffe. Kaffe. Exactly. A little bit longer a kaffe and just one f. And what about Erika? What does she drink? Kaffe might. Kaffe might. Also coffee. But then mediale. What is that? <laughs> then that is the subject. Dahle kaffe. But then what are you buying? Yeah, I think you understand the, the system here in accusative. Or otherwise you can talk to each other. Most of these are accusative. And try to continue with the next one. I put you for six minutes into groups of two. Uh, so, so how was this um, accusative uh, exercise? Was it difficult? Piece of cake. It was a piece of cake. Yeah. 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 When you when you get the the weak grade, then of course it's easier. It's it's more tough when you don't know the weak grade. Uh, so. Um, so, so if we jump to something here in the start, in the middle, if we if we take this one for for fun, mediale, what is that you have there? And so then the answer is da le, deja, deja, good. Deja. So it's a nominative. It's not the accusative mm -hmm. when you when you use the verb la to be. Here is some tea. Then there is no accusative. But if we take the the question, might Daniel Oasta, what he he what is he buying? Do we have anybody from another group maybe who who wants to answer? Anybody who? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to say Daniel? Daniel Wasta yeah, yeah. Good. There yeah, yeah. And can you can you also say another one, please? Uh, might don't see that. What do you want? Mun see that chazi. Chazi. Good. Chazi. Chatsi. Not so much the H sound. Chatsi would be the, the nominative, but chatsi. Chatsi. Exactly. Directly to the T. Chatsi. Good. Well done. And then we have might annesita. What what does Anne want? Um, sita. Good. Chasi. Chasi. Good. And what about this one? Mediala. What's that? Dale chasi. Good. Dale chasi. My tom borat. Mun boran leivi. Yeah. Good. And here somebody asked also, how do you pronounce the difference? Laipi in the nominative, laipi and laipi. Uh, yeah, I would say that the a ah is a little bit longer, but also here in the end of the consonant, the b might be a little bit longer. So laipi in nominative, laipi, and then laipi. B. It's not so clear. Some of these consonants are more difficult to hear. This chat C is easier, but life is good. 
Okay, so do you want to continue there with um, with this mi dahle? What is this? Tiende a laibi. Yes, how do you write this laibi? L A with an accent I B I. Yeah, good. That's the nominative, not the accusative. And what about this one? My tom val that. Un val dan voya voya. Voya. I take butter. What mm -hmm. are you taking? I take butter. Mm -hmm. What might Elizabeth valda? Son valda dieja. Good. Thank you. Kito. Kito. And then in the end here, but the class is is uh, finishing, so I don't know if we. But here is a speech exercise. Did you have any chance to do this? It's just a suggestion. You already started in the first lesson to say something like "Werpeivi, munamale, Tanil, mon oron altas." Did we use the word the the word Oron? I live, or did we say no? We said I am from Alta. We just used that one. Here we have another one, a verb that means to to live. I write it here, Orot, and it becomes Oron in first person singular present tense. Mon Oron Alta. So if you would say Mon Oron Londonus. In I I live in London. How would you say that? Mon Oron Londonas. Uh, and this uh, young Daniel, he said, I go Mon Vatsan schoolas. I go to a, in a, I go I am in school with the name Elve Bakken School. Mon I like to go downwards with on a snowboard, snowboard alde. And yakeset in the summer, then the likon I like sikelastit to bike and to go fishing. So if you try to, to write such small phrases, now that it's already seven o'clock, but if you want to work on this and maybe try to find things and, and then maybe some of you can present it next. next we have this week. as homework for you, I mean. Now, so. Well, the problem is I already gave you another homework with this uh, link. So you don't need to do this, uh, but uh, but I think it's good for you to to yeah. to to do such such things. So I I don't I will not check it up. But I mean, if you want, if you have some mm -hmm. spare time and want to start looking at these things and try to compose something about yourself, I think that's a great idea. Uh, okay. Moonland VIP. Huh? Yeah. Moonland VIP. <laughs> okay, okay, more than VIP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so were there any, I stopped sharing this now, and I look in the chat, did I, could you send the link to the homework again? Maybe it's here already. There it is. Um, homework on Google's forms, yes. We also used Orrochochu. Does. It says that we also, what was the last answer? Okay, well, then I, I can, class is now ending, but I will show the last uh, sentence. If you, if you want to go, you can just go. Uh, but I will also, sh somebody ask here about the last, and maybe I can show that. Um, share screen. There, yeah. Was it this one you asked about? Somvalta there, yeah. Or was it this one? Uh, 
hum, hum, hum. Chat. Stop sharing. That's the one. There, yeah. Yeah, that's the, the one. Uh, now I don't remember it, but it was something with uh, might Elizabeth Balta. What is she taking? So she is taking a T, and then T is an accusative because she is taking it. She is the one, the sub sub subject of the sentence. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for today. And if you want to join on Monday at the same time as we started today, maybe I can open the, the, the this uh, room for an hour and put you in groups two and two or something like that on Monday. Yeah, the class is on Tuesday, but in the start of the class, Agnia, you 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 didn't hear that. In in the start, I said that if you want more time to work like two and two. Uh, you could join also. I could open this classroom on Monday, the same hours, uh, so that people could uh, meet two and two. Uh, but that is not part of the, it's not structured. Then you have to decide what you want to work with. And I mean, it's not, I don't give any, I just open the classroom. Uh, so that's some of you, if you have time and if you want to put, that into it. I don't know if you already already have these systems. Maybe you have some group rooms in other places, and then of course you could continue with that. But some of you maybe not, and then you can you can come to the same room. Uh, at least now on Monday. Yeah, we try it one week and see how it works. Extra studying would be super helpful. Yeah. Okay, so Gito Otnaches. Gito. 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 Good luck. Gito.